Good morning cultists, welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu Loops. Alright, so in this episode, I think what we're going to do is possibly attack Burgundy. Try to cut them down to size, um, somewhat. And then maybe see if we can possibly invoke a war with Italy. Just to kind of, um, cut them down to size too? And where exactly do I have 238 dudes that have been raised? Oh, right down there, of course. <laughs> Oops, it's 238 that are unraised. Yep, okay. So I think what we can try is we can try for a conquest war of um, some piece of Italy. And then that'll force them to raise their troops and then we'll have a royal showdown. Cut them down to size, possibly. And then maybe even invoke... Um, some sort of open rebellion? Although, I don't know. I mean, it seems like most of his vassals like him, so I don't know if this is really... Wait. You actually had Whoa. Italian claim on Roma? What? What the hell? He attacked the Pope? Holy shit. It's crazy. Actually, never mind. Oh, that's opinion of me. No, okay. Mmm. Yeah, it seems like most of his vassals actually do like him, so I don't know if we can really incite any rebellions. But we can still try. Um. Pope, what did you do to piss off Italy? And why is Italy so uppity and flippant and shit? Eh, whatever. Alright. So first things first. Let's lower our... Troops, our domain troops. Is that really my retinue? 28 dudes? Oh, okay. Fine, and then let's wait for our retinue to kind of rebuild itself a little bit. Let's wait for our money to also, or our coffers to also rebuild it a little bit. And then... Um, I don't really care. Get out of my face. And then once we're a little bit, um, more, I guess... Uh, settled with our finances, then perhaps we can look into possibly attacking Italy, because I think if shit starts to hit the, hit the fan, then we're going to need to hire um, mercenaries, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to get ready for the possibility of uh, having to call in um, mercenaries and shit. But in the meantime, let's definitely try to upgrade our castle towns as much as we can here. And when we have the money, when we're super rich, we should also look into upgrading our hospitals. Because so far, they've been pretty ineffective. They haven't really been able to keep disease out of our lands. Um, castle walls built in Stockholm. Great. And Asteros, Ast I guess. I still don't know how to pronounce that, but... I don't know if I ever will be able to pronounce it. Oh well. There are just some things in life that are, you know, beyond everyone's reach. Young mayor is full of energy and uh, will to get things done. I don't care. Make her just. Sure. Whatever. Speaking of children, how is Lil Snore developing? Willful and rowdy. Nice. I mean, his martial score isn't all that amazing. His base is zero. What the shit? I'm teaching him, am I not? Yeah, he's my ward. So... There we go, that's... That's weird though. That he didn't show up as my ward, yet I showed up as his educator. Huh. I hope that didn't mess shit up. I'm hoping that had no real effect, but... Hmm, seeing his martial score at zero... It does make me wonder if perhaps there was something a little fishy going on there. You want to arrange a marriage, Arnie? Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. No, no, no. She's my bang maid, okay? Look, I paid like 400 ducats to get her into my court. Just so that she can pretend to want the D. But, um... You know, since just because we didn't actually make any children together, doesn't mean I'm willing to give her up. Son of a bitch. During the last few days, my son, Prince Little Snore Eric, has not been able to keep any food or drink down. It seems as if he is suffering from food poisoning. Court Physician, come. 
come to my aid. Make sure my seed do, does not dry up. And I'm not talking about my own balls here. We should... I'm thinking while we're waiting for our retiny to rebuild and all that shit, maybe we should actually attack Lithuania. Try to gain some more land from them. Oof. That's... That's not great. I'm kind of really hoping that we could do like a proper thing here, but uh, it seems like it's not going to happen. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's just go for the conquest of Zemgale. Because that way... Why did I do that? Oh well. Ha, <laughs> fuck. Whatever. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. Ask politely? Let's try and ask politely, because so far I've only, um been able to blackmail them and or obligate them. I kind of wonder what this would do. Let's see what that does. Do not speak of me, or sorry, do not speak to me of obligations and duties. I may be your vassal, but that does not make me your slave. I'm within my full right to associate with whichever faction I wish. You son of a bitch. And now he's angry at me. What an asshole. Can I imprison him? No. Apparently, being rude to your vast or your liege isn't a uh, in the crime. It should be though. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you would do differently in future battles. Winter soldier, for sure. You can't be a Viking warrior without being a winter soldier. Come on, that's just Viking 101. Let's go ahead and assault that holding. Same under has become. Wait, no, it's not same under. Uh, Elfman has become a better martial character. Perfect. And that's a lot of, uh, that's a pretty large garrison for a temple. Oh, holy crap. But 15.7% tick every, or percent every tick. I'd say that's pretty fast. Nice. Uh, 9% only though. Hmm. What do we need to actually attack? We're looking for the... Uh, we might actually have to just siege down all of their holdings. Wait. How far do these guys reach? Good grief, they got four counties. Jeez Louise. As the enemy scurries away from the battlefield like frightened rabbits, you wet the... Uh, sorry, you wipe the sweat off your brow and watch in silence. It was a hard-fought melee, and you were in the thick of it personally leading your men to victory. Not only have you won this battle, but also a great deal of respect. Songs will be sung of this day. Really? I mean, my prestige is already like 8,000. Do there really need to be more songs about me? Liege. Oh, what's this small? Sorry, that's measles. Okay, well, as long as it stays away from my lands, I'm okay with measles being here. Measles, you can stay, just don't come into my lands. And uh, Barad, we can't give him land because he's part of a rebellion, right? What about then Sigbjorn? I mean, he's content. Yeah, let's give it to Sigbjorn. His stewardship is definitely not amazing. But whatever, I don't really care. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're at 50% war score. Um, did we gain anything from... Nope. We just gained most of the war score from the occupation of Riga and Zemgale. Huh. Okay, well, hopefully this should contribute a little bit more. Nope. Castle town complete. Let's go with the upgraded castle walls. And it seems like we might be able to upgrade some more of this stuff. Whoa, okay. Guess we can't do Castle Walls 3 here yet. Well, that's unfortunate. What about uh, Gastrickland? We can upgrade the Castle Town. Yeah, let's just go with that instead. Let's bring our um, higher level Castle Towns. Son of a bitch. Ah, damn. Oh well. Alright, Lil Snore. You are destined for martial education. Hopefully your base should increase a little bit more. 
Do we want to go on a grand hunt? I don't think I've ever done this before. You know what? I'm curious. Let's try it out. Let's go on a grand hunt. I've given the order for a grand hunt to be organized in... Podlays. I will find the white stag. I thought I was after the white bear, was I not? Why am I going after the white stag all of a sudden? A white heart has been seen in the north, north of Sursk. I'm told it is a heart of 10 and the biggest deer ever seen. What does that mean? It is a heart of 10. I know what a heart is, but what does it mean by a heart of 10 and the biggest deer ever seen? What the f- I'm a little confused. I find no joy in killing such a proud animal. And then Roggenhilder, a random courtier of mine, decides that she's disappointed. I will send out my best hunter. Some dude who is currently in my prison. I'm gonna send this guy out to fucking hunt the um, wild, like the, the white heart. Like what the hell? Am I temporarily releasing him? Or am I like, is he still in the cage while he's, whilst he's hunting the white heart? That's gotta be uh, pretty ridiculous, but anyways. I could also go with this is my kill. I could gain martial, diligent, or wounded, or maimed. This is my kill, what did I did? What did I did? What did I do? I got wounded. What the shit, man? Really? I mean, you've done like the hunt like a million times. You couldn't like freaking um, hunt the white heart without uh, chopping off your own toe or something. While chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled and broke his leg. Luckily, I was thrown off, but now my horse is in pain. I will end his suffering myself. So I gained piety? It's a weird, weird event. The grand hunt is now, sorry, it was over for now. It was a truly noble endeavor and a true talent, sorry, a true challenge for our martial abilities. And my horse is dead. So, really, I mean, do I have a lot to celebrate here? The fact that my horse is dead is kind of a big deal, isn't it? No? I guess maybe it wasn't, uh, I mean, it wasn't Glitter Hoof, so maybe he didn't care too much, but still, somewhat of a big deal. Saxony, are you dead yet, King Snorri? No, he's not dead. I kind of want this guy to die soon, so that possibly we can take, um... The, the county and gallery, or so the county of gallery. Birth of the assassins. Word is spreading that a Shia missionary, Hassan I Saba, has founded a religious order known as the Hashishin, somewhere in western Persia. Using trickery and guile, this mysterious cult of trained killers has seized control of the mountain fortress of Alamut and converted it into their headquarters. Already a string of violent murders can be traced back to Hassan's devoted and fearless disciples. Spawning a um, lineage of uh, rather disappointing games. These hashish smokers are harmless. <sighs> I mean, you know, first few were okay and then it just kind of devolved into BS. Especially after that giant storyline thing I'm not going to spoil. If you are, in fact, curious of, uh, you know, what happens. Or if you're actually planning on playing the series. In your third, we're gonna disown you. I don't care about you. Linda of the w Oh, no, it's not Linda of the Wilds. Rugen- Ruggenfrith. What happened to Linda of the Wilds, by the way? Is st she still around? She's still my lover. Wow. Holy crap. I didn't think she'd last this long. My court physician, um... Hey, look, Keralder. Your facial hair looks much better now that it's not brown anymore. Um, and you definitely look less like Hitler now. Fantastic. Okay, Heralder? Sure. Try to save Inyurther. I don't really care, honestly, but just try anyways. And let's keep an eye on Saxony. I want to know when he dies. While little Inyurther still appears slightly weaker than other children her age, I swear she's much more energetic than she was a couple of weeks ago. She might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Thank you, Heralder, for giving my daughter a second chance. We've denounced her. She's not technically my daughter. Well, she is, I guess. But she also isn't. And let's also keep an eye out on, um, France. In case he dies sometime soon, we can declare another war 
and finally take back what is rightfully ours in Zealand. Little girl, get the hell out of my face. Fucking just throw her out into the wilds. That's the best training that she can get. Having many lovers is exciting and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire, but so little time. I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. Do we want to keep with Roggenfrith? Oh, no. She's got pneumonia. Uh, no. Roggenfrith, get the hell out of my lands. Or out of my bedchambers, or something. Whatever. Okay. Burgundy. 18,000. Currently attacking King Bohemond of Aquitaine. And it's in favor of Burgundy. What about Italy? Italy is attacking... Huh. Okay, so it seems like they're both involved in some fairly large-scale wars. So this might be a good time for us to attack. Again, I don't really want to waste my Great Holy War for Austrasia. Oh, sorry, um, yeah. Was uh, waste my Great Holy War. Because Austrasia is apparently held by Burgundy, Burgundy, France, and Heim. Brittany, definitely not worth it. Burgundy, <laughs> just fucking nonsense. England? Wow. Hmm, oh, interesting. But no, I think a big chunk of it... No, I was about to say a big chunk of it is being held by Scotland, but no, that's not the case at all. What other choices? France? No. It's way too fractured. Yeah, I think the only Great Holy War that's really worth it is going to be the Great Holy War for Italy. But again, we're going to hold off on doing that just yet because Italy is still pretty powerful. And I'm fairly certain if we went to war with Italy now, all the Christians would pile in. So I don't think that's a good idea. Just before I continue with that though, I'm just going to make sure that all these places aren't being incorporated into Scandinavia too quickly. Pomerania is okay. We did form the Wendish Empire, so it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be being subjugated into Scandinavia. We might need to form the, uh, Empire of Germania soon though. So we need more territory. That's about the only thing that's blocking us right now. Fine. Let's go ahead. Burgundy, you ready? Because we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, coming in hot. We're come, we're gonna be coming in heavy, and we're gonna be also messing up our words and not being able to talk properly. Where do we want to go? Lower Lorraine, Normandy, no, Savoy. Uh, let's get a piece of land that's kind of contiguous to where we are. Lower Lorraine is unfortunately held by both France and Burgundy. What about Upper Lorraine? I think Upper Lorraine is... Mmm... Jeez. What a fucking mess. What about these guys? Upper Burgundy. Huh. No, no, let's do Upper Burgundy. Try to take some more land from these guys. But then I don't really want to waste my Holy War on Upper Burgundy here. Even though it would be the only real thing that I would... Hmm. Okay. Savoy might actually not be a bad choice once we take Upper Burgundy. Because I think we can definitely take all of Savoy from Burgundy in one fell swoop. Wait, how many... Uh, there's only three counties in... Uh, hmm. Well, let's not worry about how much land we're actually taking. That's Austrasia. What is that? That's Burgundy. The reason why I want to kind of go with Austrasia right now is because Austrasia is still a um, kind of intact, more or less intact uh, kingdom. And if we start taking chunks away from them then it might be easier for us to form the Kingdom of Austrasia sooner rather than later. Whereas with Burgundy, it's kind of divided between what was actually Burgundy and then... I guess, no wait, I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's, it's like so fractured is what I'm trying to say here. So, um, 
Yes, let's definitely do a Holy War for Upper Burgundy. That should be a much easier fight. Let's bring in our Majestic Swim Team. Get everyone on their boats. Meet up in uh, Upland. And then Swim Team. Hope you guys have been working out your, uh, your lower body in addition to your upper body. But if not, I don't blame you. All we need is you guys to be super jacked uh, up top rather than like down below. Croatia has joined in. Good luck to you, Croatia. I wish you the best. I can tell you right now that you're going to get your ass handed to you, so good luck. And the Duchess Beatrice of Burgundy. The hot lady has also joined in. Fantastic. Good for you. Is she a nun now? No, I think she's just part of some uh, holy, holy whatever. And Haim has joined in too. What is with this bishopric? It's so weird. <laughs> just out of nowhere. You guys have like a freaking um, theocracy going on. And my commander has improved. Fantastic. Boats, go back home. You guys have done admirably. Transferring my um, swim team over to... My wife was killed by rabble. What the shit? Oh, it's because she was a steward. I see. Okay. Need to get a new wife. Uh, let's shop around a little bit. And hope that we can find someone with some amazing stewardship. Aha! Hello, nurse. She kind of looks like a really old, grotilated Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes? You're going to be my new wife. You don't really have a, a choice in this matter. Fantastic. Come on, Katie Holmes. Let's get it on. Or not. Actually, I, I don't want you to accidentally get to pregnant or nothing. Katie Holmes, you're going to be my new steward as well. So congratulations. You're really um, moving up the ziggurat. Up, up, up the ziggurat. Lickety split. And, haha, my Kinslayer... Chancellor is actually improving relations with Bohemia. Although we still have a long ways to go before he actually appreciates me. That jackass. Who the fuck just died? Tok Snorrison. The son of King Snorri, the Shadow of Saxony. I wonder if it's possible at all. King Snorri's dead. Nice. That means that we can go to war with this asshole to get Gallery back. Fantastic. All right, man. No, no, no. Come at me. Come at me. Um, in Schweiz. Is that? Oh shit. Oh crap. Okay, Italy is joined in, guys. Crisis alert. We need to get um, even hotter and even heavier. And I want you guys to meet us up in. Stand down, guys. Stand down. I want you guys to meet us up in, um, where's a good place? None of these places are good for, um, supply limit. I guess the best place is Sungao. Yeah, meet up in Sungao. Although some of you might need to, um, cool your jets and perhaps meet us somewhere else. So that you don't get everyone killed. Yeah, that's fine. And everyone else up here. It's good. Get you guys too. Perfect. And that? Is that everyone? That might be everyone. Yeah, why don't you guys meet up in Znoimo and then we'll regroup once we're uh, good and ready. Okay. So we could go after this stack here. Actually, we should probably take this opportunity to go after them now rather than later. So let's do that. Let's... Let's gather up in um, wherever this place is and fantastic. Good job, Kinslayer dude. If you're that good at, um, at uh, improving relations with people, why couldn't you have just patched things up with your family rather than like kill them brutally? I'm assuming you killed them brutally. Because that's the only way you can kill your family, right? Is to kill them brutally. Let's attack these dudes in... New Chattel. 
What is this? We just lose something? What, what do we lose? I have no idea. Eh, whatever. Can't be that big of a deal, right? Okay, here we go. Hot and heavy. Come on. Let's do this before the Italians come in. Okay, I think we're good. Do we follow them into um, Bern, the home of uh, ancestral home of Bernie Sanders? Let's do it. Let's get one stack at least going into um, to beat these guys up in uh, Bernie Sanders' uh, ancestral home. And we actually need to regroup in uh, Breisgau. No, go back to Sungau, and then from Sungau, whoa! Did you just do a stack wipe. Holy shit, good job! Fantastic! What is this? Who's coming in to attack us in Schweiz? What the shit, guys? What is this, a ghost army? Dire of... Ab... Abauge? Abauge? Okay, um, Jarl Nupa of Finland. Uh, Finland. Do I want to tur turn this into a Jarl, uh, into a vice royalty? It couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, it couldn't hurt, but mm, I mean, Finland's not that super well developed enough that I think it's going to be an issue. Hmm. So that's my opinion of him changing, not his opinion of me, right? Okay, let's do it. Let's get the reason to imprison. Oh wait, no, that did. Ah oh, shit! Ah oh, crap! What the hell? Did I misread that, or is it just assumed that you'll be, um... He'll just get pissed off at you, uh, at the slander or, or whatever. I have no idea. Okay, people are coming in. Fantastic, we're starting to converge. If you guys could not, um, get away from me, that'd be fantastic. Where's Italy? Italy, are you actually leading troops? You're in Lombardy. Oh shit, they're over here. Okay, so they're definitely coming in, okay. Um, we might need you guys to pull your jets. Okay, they're coming in. Oh, shit. Um... St. Gallen. Yeah. Get over to Schweiz, and it's actually faster for you to go to Breisgau. Okay, fine, do that then. And my wife has food poisoning. I told her. I told her it wasn't for eating. I told her not to put that in her mouth. But... She insisted. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this guy who fucking hates my guts. Let's get Boothil, the Viceroy of Poland. You're gonna be my new steward for- or at least temporary steward until my wife recovers. And Italy has come in hot. They've come in heavy. We need to reinforce our troops in Schweiz right now. Guys, get in there. Show these Italians what for. And whilst that is happening, apparently I'm thinking that some idiot girl uh, might fancy me. So let's give her a good tumble. Fantastic. Taking advantage of the, um, of like, mentally disabled people. Such an asshole. <laughs> oh. Nice! They didn't, they probably didn't see that coming. All right, let's follow the Italians over into uh, Gris Gresson or whatever, and then have the other guys go over to Bernie Sanders' ancestral home. And nice, capturing more dudes, fantastic. And what is this? Do we want to follow them into Lombardy? Would we be taking a river crossing penalty? We would not. I don't know if I really want to be the one uh, leading the charge here, just in case something bad happens. And since Lil Snore is not yet of age, envious. What the shit, Lil Snore? Who who told you to be a jealous little bitch? Eh, whatever. Um. Yeah, no, no. I think you can stay in uh, burn for now. We'll have this stack go down there, chase these guys in Lombardy. And let's just start assaulting um, the holdings here. Nice. Have we basically, we have 
basically destroyed the entire Italian army. Well, they still have like, you know, 10,000 left, but I'd say compared to what they had before, when this whole thing started, we've done pretty well. Italians, down to 9,000. Do we really want to chase their army through all these diseased lands? Actually, it's the supply limit's not that terrible. It's just this particular county that we're in right now. They're moving down to uh, Cremona. Let's follow them into Cremona. And then you guys can continue the siege of that place of uh, Bern. No, no. Go after the upper Burgundians and their actual army. The Croatians can just hang out. I don't really give a rat's ass. Get out of my face! How many times do I have to tell you? Good grief. That little shit is incorrigible. And we're at 100%. But we're going to harass the Italians a little bit more. I don't think we need to harass the Upper Burgundian army though. Because once we take um, Upper Burgundy, like the Duchy, that's it. They no longer exist, right? And we've inherited the Kingdom of Bavaria from this asshole. Fantastic. He died in combat. Oh no. Poor oh, baby, he did. So, so sad. Tyrol? Oh, right. Right? Oh, wait, I'm the, uh... What the fuck, man? What is this nonsense? Wait, wait, wait. That's Bavaria. Okay, I see. Can I do something to take his shit from him? I can. Okay, let's do that then. Let's try to revoke the county of Tyrol. What's happening with St. Gallen? Uh, what is this? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely take all this shit away from these assholes. Because I don't like the fact that they... Uh, well, actually, the, the finish up here, I don't really care too much about that issue right now. Um, that's the same guy. I just, for the life of me, I just can't tell the difference between these dudes. And Pest. What's wrong with Pest? Oh, you're taking... Okay, you know what? Continue what you're doing. We'll deal with you in future times. St. Gallen for sure, though, this guy. Let's revoke that shit. I think he's actually in my prison. So let's humiliate him. Get people to hate him even more. And then... Boom. This should hopefully, um... Incentivize people to... Join my... Plot. Okay. Let's follow the Italians even more. Harass them. And we should do that in the next episode because we are currently out of time. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.